What is up, guys? We are here for our TTM March Madness draft review. If you don't know what March Madness is, it's a tournament that's held uh, once a year. They kind of have a bi biannual tournament thing going where they have one in March and one in the summer. Uh, so it's really cool. But uh, TTM is the token minorities. If you don't know, if you, if you guys don't know them, go and check them out in the description down below. Uh, Jolt and Sticks run that channel pretty well. Uh, so definitely go and give them a subscription, a couple of likes, go check out their videos. But uh, they host a tournament and this year it's, uh, it's looking to be huge. Uh, we have absolutely huge uh we have uh about 160 people i believe uh in this tournament and that's not counting the all-star division which i'm in uh there, there are three representatives from every major league uh except for the ucl we only have one representative which is leo the champion of last season so that's really cool he's joining us but uh yeah so we're, we're hopping into this uh we are in the all-star division like i said for the gpc so we were uh top three in the gpc uh my teammates i guess you could say uh, our johnny rice pool our good friend because he is really good in tournament format even though he didn't have the best season last season in the gpc uh he is one of the best tournament format players out there uh, he's won a tournament to get into the GPC, and he came second in the GOT that I hosted, so or that we co-hosted, sort of. But yeah, anyway, uh, and the other, uh, co uh, our other teammate that's gonna be with us is uh, Anthony Zazo. You guys know him as Iron Flash Gaming, one of the best draft league players of all time. So we've got a pretty strong lineup for the GPC, I would say. I consider myself a very good player as well. I haven't played a lot of tournament format, uh, and I don't really excel in it. But uh, let's let's see if we can fix that. So our first pick, uh, actually, you guys already see it on screen, but uh, uh, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm going to crop it out. I'm going to make sure you guys can't see the team fully. So as you can see, our full our first pick is Tapu Bulu. Uh, basically, the way you want to draft in a tournament format is get as much offense as possible. So that's what I aim to do. I get I got a lot of offense on this team. Uh, I did get some pretty good walls, but all of my walls can be pretty offensive as well, except for one, I guess. But Tapu Bulu is the first Pokemon that I picked up, and uh, in terms of a wall breaker, there's there are very few Pokemon that it hit, can hit as hard as Tapu Bulu with a choice band. Look at this monstrous, monstrous 130 base attack. Uh, it's got a decent special attack of 85. It can run Dazzling Gleam uh, and things like that, Hidden Power Fire. I've seen uh, Rob use a pretty interesting Hidden Power Fire set to deal with a Kartana, but uh, yeah. So this is, uh, this is the Tapu Bulu, as you can see, 75 base speed, very respectable, uh, very nice bulk on both sides, 115 defense, uh, 95 special defense, a little bit hindering that it has a quad weakness to poison being grass and fairy, but honestly, with the Pokemon that I picked up, as you guys will see later, I really don't care about poison attacks too much, so this is Bulu, uh, you guys know it for running Woodhammer and Horn Leech, uh, but there's also a, a couple, well, not a Horn Attack, Horn Leech. Thank you. Uh, there's also a couple of other really cool things it can do, like Leech Seed and Sub. Uh, it's got good options in screens. It can run Calm Mind and be a special set. It can run Bulk Up. It can run Swords Dance. It can be a Phaser with Roar. It has access to Stone Edge, uh, Zen Headbutt, uh, Super Power. I didn't make it my Zemon, though. My Zemon is coming up next, but it has access to Taunt to beat walls. It's really just, it's one of the best wall breakers in the game, guys. It's so, so good. I'm so happy to be using it. Um, Ments really hyped this thing up at the beginning of Gen 7, and I'm curious to see what I can do with it. I've been running it a little bit, obviously, on the OU ladder. Uh, I've gotten to see what it can do somewhat, but it's it's extremely hard to switch into. Not every team is going to have a check to Tapu Bulu, I can tell you that much. And even less so, not every team is going to have a check to Tapu Bulu plus Infernape. That's our next mon on the list. We got uh, really nice, fast Pokemon. Uh, base 108 speed can hit 346 at max speed. It's got nice, even offenses of 104. Not the highest, uh, but still, its uh, its physical attacks can hit pretty hard, like Flare Blitz and Close Combat being base 120 attacks. It really doesn't matter that it has only base 104 uh, attack. It, it can still hit extremely hard. Uh, this is our Zemon. This is our Zemon, guys. I'm just going to pop a Grass EMZ on here uh, because it can run Grass Knot with uh, Grass EMZ, which is really cool. I've seen a Poison, poison EMZ with Gunk Shot to make sure you don't miss. Uh, there's uh, This thing gets a great amount of coverage. It gets Stealth Rocks. This is my first Rock Setter. Uh, I end up getting three, which is really nice, so I don't have to lock anything into a Stealth Rocking roll from week to week. Uh, it's really nice. Gets priority in uh, in Mach Punch. I believe it also gets Vacuum Wave, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that. No, it does get Vacuum Wave. Okay, good. Uh, gets multiple setup options like Swords Dance, uh, Bulk Up. I can't run Z Bulk Up, I, I don't believe. 
so that's a little bit unfortunate but it does get great um, other options like status options like uh, encore and slack off if you want to run it bulky uh, like I said before its coverage is amazing poison jab it gets shadow claw rock slide stone edge uh, gets uh, taunt as well, so I have dual taunters. It gets status in Will O Wisp. It gets uh, Thunder Punch. U turn for momentum is huge. That's really going to pair well with our next mon, as you'll see. Uh, but a lot of really cool things you can do with Infernape. Uh, very glad to have it. I've never used it in league format before, but I faced it, and it is always, always a problem. No matter what your team is, uh, Infernape always finds a way to be annoying. So, uh, really happy that this is on my team as well. Nice uh, nice two little mixed attackers, I guess you could say. Bulu doesn't have great uh, coverage on the special side, like Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, that's about it. But run with Calm Mind, Max Defense, you can utilize it against certain teams. We'll see how that goes. Great Breakers, first two Mons. And the Mon I decided to pair up with these two because uh, they both... Uh, I mean, they don't share really common weaknesses except for flying, so I needed a flying check immediately and I wanted to continue my momentum game, and so I got Zapdos. And uh, we've used Zapdos before in the past, I'm really happy to have it again. It's a base 100 speed tier, which is awesome. Uh, it gets uh, agility so it can increase its own speed, access to both Volt Switch and U-Turn. I always say this, electric types with access to both Volt Switch and U-Turn for momentum are some of the best in the format. You have Tapu Koko, you have uh, both Thunderous, you have Zapdos. Uh, Electros really excels in League format as a result, so really nice Mon. Uh, decent coverage overall, hidden powers, it gets Heat Wave and Extra Sensory, it gets uh, Thunderbolt and Volt Switch obviously, uh, it gets Whirlwind for phasing, Tailwind for, uh, for increasing speed, because my first two mons are not incredibly fast, but <clears throat> think about, <clears throat> wow, excuse me, think about Bulu under uh, Tailwind, it's like unstoppable, it's ridiculous, look at this, 249 doubles to almost 500 speed in Tailwind, so this is really cool to have, I get another Tailwind setter actually later on, which is really awesome that I have two of those. Uh, but really good mon overall. It's it's so bulky, guys. 90, 85, and 90. Like, it might not look like that much, but really with only being weak to rock and ice really helps this thing out. And, like, it's my first true rock weakness. These two only take 12%, 12.5 uh, when coming in. Zapdos takes uh, 25, but it's my only mon on my team that takes 25%. So this is really clutch. Uh, I don't have to worry about rocks too much, especially that this is also not my only defogger. So that's really cool. Um, obviously you can run more offensive sets with thanks to this amazing base 125 special attack uh, like I said before I really want to be offensive uh, in this tournament have a lot of offensive options uh, choice scarf is always on the table choice specs as well uh, agility max special attack those are all things that I can do with uh, with Zapdos I don't want to necessarily lock it into a defensive role from week to week so uh, yeah that's that's Zappy for you this is Tweety I already have its nickname it's always Tweety no matter when I, when, no matter when I run it, I still need nicknames for the others. Uh, and my next mon on the table uh, kind of patches up. Um, I don't have an electric weakness, but I absolutely needed to make sure that I had an electric switch in. Uh, so I made sure to pick up a ground type, a secondary rocker, and is considered one of the best ground types in league format. And that is Nido Queen. Nido Queen uh, with great abilities in Sheer Force and Poison Point both can be run very well. Sheer Force is what you're going to see most often. Uh, 75 special attack might not look like a lot. It even has higher attack than special attack. Uh, but pair that with sheer force and life orb, and this thing hits ridiculously hard with the combination of earth power, uh, sludge wave, things like, whoop, that's not sludge wave. Sludge wave, uh, you got things like thunderbolt and ice beam. It's got bolt beam coverage, which is exceptional, uh, on any mon. Uh, my first Pokemon with Bolt Beam coverage, because Zapdos obviously has to rely on Hidden Power Ice. Now I have Nidoqueen to hit uh, Quad Weeks to Ice, which are very common. It's one of the most common Quad Weaknesses in the game. Uh, also, it can utilize its physical attack very well, being base 92. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't get... Uh, not everything gets a Sheer Force boost, uh, but it does get access to Poison Jab, Earthquake, of course, Crunch. Uh, you have really good options. Outrage, <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, power Up Punch, Pursuit is nice, that's cool. Uh, not that you're going to be trapping any bulky Psychics anytime soon, but uh, they're, they're just going to attack you more than likely. It gets uh, Super Power, it gets Sucker Punch, so this is my second priority option al alongside uh, Infernape, and Sucker Punch can actually hit pretty hard. Unfortunately, the Gen 7 nerf kind of makes it a little bit worse, but uh, I can still manage. Another Taunter, I have three, yay! Uh, and I made sure that I got most, of, uh, most types of hazards, because I'm a very hazard stack uh, happy kind of player 
So uh, now I have toxic spikes and I do end up picking a spiker you guys will see on the next pick. Uh, but not a lot of setup that this thing gets. It doesn't really want to set up. It just kind of wants to come in, uh, be immune to hits, and then just fire back extremely hard. So that's what it's really good at. And like I said before, it is a secondary stealth rocker. And the third mod I decided to get. Now, th before I get into this, this next pick might seem a little bit redundant with our last pick, Zapdos. But you guys have to keep in mind, they don't share any weaknesses. So the next mod I decided to get to pair with Tapu Bulu is Skarmory. Now... Again, before I go any further, I just want to get, let you guys know how this works for those of you that are not participating in the March Madness tournament, because I know a lot of the, my subscribers are or already know how it works. But basically, all of the All Stars, uh, I believe we were 40. There were 40 of us. Uh, we all got grouped uh, into uh, pairings of 10. So basically, you got have 10 players drafting from the same pool, and then you have another 10 players drafting from that exact same pool. So you're going to have a lot of repetitive teams, and my team actually looks a lot like somebody else's uh, with only slight differences, but we made like the same pick, same rounds, and we didn't even plan that. Uh, but not every, like a lot of people are going to have access to Skarmory and Celesteela, which are <clears throat> Tapu Bulu's two biggest checks. But if I, I can at least knock out one of them from the tournament, that's already really good. And Skarmory is just amazing, guys. Of course, third stealth rocker, right? Now we also have Spikes. We have a second hazard remover with the fog, so this is really good. I'm not gonna want to get rid of hazards with the fog too often because I'm gonna want to keep uh, keep up the offensive pressure, keep up the spike stack. We have a sturdy mon, which is really nice. Uh, I can run cuss tap sturdy uh, spi spike stack. That's always a fun set. Uh, you have some setup with Skarmory actually. Like I said, it gets tailwind. This is my second tailwind mon. It deals with fairies, which Nino Queen also sort of does. Uh, but Skarmory, I feel, de deals with them a little bit better. As, uh, of course, the steel typing. Uh, not having to worry about, uh, like, ground or certain other covers like water. Uh, say, Azumarill, for example. Skarmory is very bulky on the physical side, as you guys know. 140 base defense. Uh, paired with 65 here. It has recovery. So another mon with roost. We now have three mons with recovery. And I have two grounded mons that also take advantage of grassy terrain. So my only two mons that are off the ground have natural or reliable recovery rather so very nice uh, plethora of items that you can run with skarmory you can run uh, uh, damage reducing berries uh, it's another phaser with whirlwind it's one of the best in the game uh, because a lot of things can't touch it and are forced to switch out so you can just start whirlwinding them around it's my fourth taunter for some reason i picked up a bunch of taunt pokemon so gonna have that option quite often i can break stall pretty easily uh, toxic, of course, like every other Pokemon in the game, but uh, yeah, no, so Skarmory is a great defensive wall. Uh, some, I wanted things off the ground because I'm going to pick up... Well, I have two ground weaknesses in Infernape and Nidoqueen, and my the rest of my mons don't really want to take ground hits, uh, so it's nice to have two Pokemon off the ground in these two. Uh, I do need nicknames uh, for most of these. As you guys know, Tweety is the only one uh, that is nicknamed right now, so yeah, Sk uh, Skarmory needs a nickname. Uh, every other mon needs a nickname, but my next mon... Um, yeah, I, I don't want Sakura, okay? I don't want Sakura as a nickname for my Lotic. Uh, I don't want to mimic a certain Shady Penguin <laughs> with his nickname, so give me something else. I want a different nickname for this thing, but uh, my Lotic is really cool. I completed my Firewater Grass Core, which is really nice. Uh, I wanted this specifically because I am very well aware that weather is going to be very prominent in this tournament. A lot of people are going to draft sand, and a lot of people are going to draft rain. Like I said, there are 10 teams and four times the same draft pool. That's just in the all-star division. In the uh, regular competitors, like people that are coming from the outside and that are joining this March Madness tournament, um, you, you have even more pools where people can pick up weather. So I wanted something to deal with those two weathers specifically, being rain and sand. My Lodic does that pretty well, because of the Marvel scale ability, if ever gets status, uh, its defense goes way up. Its special defense is already extremely high, so it can take on things like Kingdra. Uh, and uh, being a water type, of course, it can take on Excadrill, Titar. Uh, it can take on Hippowdon. Basically, all of the main weather uh, components that you see on weather teams. So I definitely wanted something to deal with those. Uh, and Milotic is one of the best. So uh, very bulky water type. Love it. An another Mon with reliable recovery and recover. Uh, that's so good to have. It's Haze, so it's not set up on easily. It gets Dragon Tail to face things out if you want to use that. It uh, can run a max special defense coil set with sub uh, to break stall if it wants to. Like, it's got so many options to it. Uh, it's it's not too um, diverse, but like it has multiple ways of doing whatever it wants. So, 
Uh, very nice Pokemon. Love having it. Our only Z-Mon is, of course, uh, Infernape, so... Uh, it also gets Rain Dance, so I can shut down Sand if I want to that way, but no. Um, yeah, no, I, I like my Lotic. Uh, it's my first time using it, just like a lot of the Pokemon on this draft. I think it was Togue that suggested I get this, so uh, shoutouts to you, Togue of War. Um, I'll leave a link to uh, TTM's channel, the Token Minorities, in the description, so guys, go definitely go check them out. And uh, I'll leave a, a link to Togue as well, because he helped me uh, make my picks, and Jar, I guess. Uh, so Jar and Togue ma mainly... Uh, really gave me good suggestions, but uh, basically I copied Matty Brolic's team. If you go and look at Matty Brolic's team, if you're in the TTM, uh, it's it's almost identical. It's crazy, uh, except for like two mons, I think. But yeah, this is my Lodic. Also needs a nickname again, guys. Leave the suggestions down in the description. But our next mon, um, I just I needed a win con. Basically, uh, I already had a fairy. I already had a steel type. And you guys know how I feel about Dragon Dance. Uh, I decided at some point that I was always going to draft a Dragon Dance Mon no matter what league I was in because it's one of the best setup. Uh, increasing your speed and your attack simultaneously really, really gives you a huge edge over uh, opponents. Things like Salamence, things like Flygon. And now, I decided to get a Pokemon that hits extremely hard, doesn't have to rely on Dragon Dance to hit extremely hard, kind of like Flygon does, you know? Uh, and I... I wanted something with a decent speed stat. My, my team is not too fast, as you can see. Infernape is my fastest Mon, followed by uh, Zapdos, and then everything falls under base 100. So I wanted something uh, that was decently fast. I didn't end up getting something over the base 100, unfortunately, but Dragon Dance really remedies that. And the fact that this thing gets an ability that can <laughs> break through, literally break uh, through a lot of opposing abilities is really nice, and that Mon is... Haxorus, and Haxorus, because of the Mold Breaker ability, uh, as I said just a second ago, Earthquake, uh, you can hit things that are off the ground because of Levitate, uh, gets access to um, Super Power, to Dragon type, Stab of course in Dragon Claw, Outrage, uh, Dragon Rush I believe if you want to use that. I see a lot of people running Dragon Rush now for some reason. Uh, I think it's because it doesn't lock them in, but I don't even know if he gets it. Uh, Dual Chop is all, always an option, but uh, just a really hard hitter. This base 147 attack. Like I said, guys, full full out offense. Look at this. Plus, minus, 432. 432, and max speed hits 293. So that means, if we bring up a calculator, 293. Uh, let me actually bring this into the shot because I don't know where it's going to be when I post at it. 293 times 1.5 equals 439. What does this mean? It means I'm faster than opposing Mega Alakazam with an Adamant Nature at plus one. It means that I'm faster than, uh, what's the other Mega that hits 438? Uh, I'm forgetting it now. It's not Sceptile, it's not Beedrill. There's one more. Uh, you guys will let me know in the comments. But anyway, faster than that speed tier, the base 150 uh, speed tier, I believe. Uh, so this is really nice. Unfortunately, it doesn't go over Feramosa, but Feramosa is not allowed, so <laughs> that works. Uh, but yeah, just an overall great Dragon Dance, uh, Mon, Low Kick, uh, Poison Jab to beat Fairies, I believe it also gets, uh, does it get Iron Head? Maybe just Poison Jab, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, the, like, I think the only thing it can't beat reliably is, like, Clef Key because of Magnet Rise, but other than that, uh, it can beat opposing Fairies pretty easily, it can run Roselli Berry, it forces switches because of its massive attack. Um, a lot of times people are going to stay in on it because of the fear of setup, uh, so they're going to let their Mons drop. I can run Choice Banded, which is absolutely ridiculous with this attack stat. I can run Choice Scarfed, uh, another Mon that runs it pretty reliably. I would like to have Moxie on my Dragon Dance Mon, but really, like, only Salamence uh, can take advantage of that. So, um, I couldn't get Salamence because it wasn't available, so <laughs> I went with this instead. And uh, I'm, I've seen Haxorus in use um, before. Some of notable people uh, that have used it in the past and done pretty well with it. Um, Patters from the UCL has performed very well with this Pokemon. Um, he almost took down uh, Pokemon MD because of this thing's existence. Uh, he, wh who else? Ethan, uh, Redithan used it in the GOT tournament and he really enjoyed it. Uh, I also want a nickname for this. I'm not nicknaming it Hacks. That's just, no. Uh, <laughs> I want something a little bit more original, so help me out there, guys. Uh, really nice Swords Dance. It can double dance, too, by the way, guys. Swords Dance with, with this attack stat, what? No. <laughs> it's, it's just crazy. Um, yeah, no, this is, uh, another Taunt Mon, by the way. <laughs> there you go. And our last Mon also has Taunt. Now, 
Uh, if you guys remember, I did say that my speed tiers were not that great. Uh, I didn't have a lot of speed on my team. It was really more just a balanced team, spike stack, uh, bulky offense, could really take on a lot of threats, uh, all, while also being offensive if need be. But I needed something fast and faster than everything. <laughs> and uh, the last one that I decided to get, great support with Grassy Terrain. Uh, I've got great switch-ins uh, to, to all of its checks. And that is Mega Alakazam with Trace. You guys remember remember how I mentioned weather? Yeah, well, I can trace Swift Swim and uh, and Sandrush. <laughs> and that means that I am faster than said Mon that is trying to outpace me in the weather. Uh, so that's amazing. Magic Guard means that I'm uh, invulnerable to hazards, so I don't need to worry about this thing coming in and taking a lot of damage before it's Mega Evolved. Uh, it's really nice. Um, inner Focus, I guess. Uh, not really going to be used because you do have to Mega Evolve on turn one, so that's not useful. Uh, synchronize neither. I'm going to be using Magic Guard, let's be honest. Uh, but very nice Pokemon. Huge special attacks that 175. This is my biggest breaker, uh, I would say. Well, actually, no. But Tapu Wulu actually hits a little bit harder than Mega Alakazam because of Grassy Terrain. But 493. Most of the time, I'm going to be able to run this thing um, modest because of this massive uh, speed stat. I can outspeed Weavile there. I can outspeed uh, Tapu Koko right there. So. Very nice Mon, can run a little bit of bulk as a, as a result. Uh, I've seen Mega Alakazam live a minus two Mega Horn from a Scallopede <laughs> in the GOT. So there was that. Um, tracing abilities, like just the ability trace is, is so, so good. Like, uh, especially with some uh, Ultra Beasts running around now, like uh, Buzzwool and, um, and Nihilego, Zerkatri, those uh, kinds of Mons, Kartana. If you come in and you take their ability, which is Beast Boost, or you take Magirna's Soul Heart, for example, this thing is a massive threat because its biggest attack, a biggest stat, whether it be its speed or its special attack, specifically tailored for whatever you want. Uh, like let's say I go here and I make this faster than its special attack, or uh, higher than its special attack, just by doing that, as you can see. Um, if I reduce there, then I can go even there and there. And it's, uh, actually I need it to be a little bit lower here. If I want to increase its speed, for example, with a beast boost or a, uh, yeah, well, specifically a beast boost, Soul Heart is always going to increase my special attack. So, uh, taking abilities like that or taking things like Levitate so that you can't get hit by Scarfed Earthquakes, uh, taking Intimidate to make sure that you live a hit, uh, stealing abilities like that is really, really useful. And especially in a format where so many people are going to be running weather. Uh, I felt like this was probably one of the best Megas to have, so uh, curious to see once again how I'm going to be able to use it properly, but or if I'm going to be use it, be able to use it properly at all. Uh, but very nice Pokemon, amazing coverage. I don't even need to mention it. You guys probably know it gets uh, Psychic uh, and Psy Shock, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, Focus Blast, Shadow Ball, uh, just a plethora of good moves. Signal Beam. Uh, Thunder Wave, uh, which is really nice for catching switches. Taunt, again, another Taunt Mon. Uh, it gets, uh, of course, Substitute is very nice to run on Mega Alakazam because, again, it forces switches because of its huge speed, huge special attack. So uh, you're able to get off two hits on something that would uh, otherwise be able to uh, to come in and, and take your hit and hit you back really hard. So uh, that's, that's quite nice. Um, I, I, just, I just really wanted to use this thing. Uh, I've never gotten a chance to use it. Uh, Mence was the one who uh, who lived a plus two Megahorn because he had 40 HP EVs, I believe. Somehow, this is able to take a plus two non-life or Megahorn from a Scalabeed. I don't understand how, but I mean, it's its defense does go up as it Mega Evolves, I'll show you guys. Um, it's actually quite useful that it gets that little, bit, little boost at all. Uh, as you can see, this was 45 here. Uh, while it's Mega, it's 65. That actually makes a huge difference. That plus 20 makes an enormous difference. Uh, to Mega Alakazam, so just a really nice Mon overall. Uh, I'm glad I have it, and it's uh, it's my only Psychic type on the team. I have quite a few Mono types actually. Um, well, do I? Yeah, Alakazam, Haxorus, and Milotic. So I have those three. The rest of my Mons are dual typings, uh, but I should be able to work with all of the coverage that all of these Mons get. Uh, it's going to be really nice. Anyway, that's. Uh, I just wanted to do a small draft review. This one's a lot shorter than most of my draft reviews, luckily. Um, I'm able I was able to cut it down and there were some things that I talked about in between so that that's nice uh, But yeah, that's that's pretty much it guys uh, the tournament 
uh, takes place on March 25th. Uh, we are going to be having pool rounds, I believe, beforehand. Uh, but our division, which is the all-star division, I believe we get started on the 25th. So, uh, yeah, be looking out for that. Definitely check out uh, Crobat for the Wins Twitch. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. So you guys can go and uh, follow his stream. Uh, he will be streaming. That's Danza, by the way. He will be streaming uh, the entire thing on his Twitch. So if you guys don't want to miss a second of all of this amazing action... Uh, for the March Madness tournament, definitely be able, definitely go and check that out. I'll probably be uh, uploading uh, my side, like I'll, I'll be making a cut video uh, for the whole tournament and my run through it. I'll I'll be talking about my uh, my building in between, so you guys can see what's going on. I'll edit in things, so that'll be a that'll be a cool video, actually. I think uh, it'll probably be about uh, an hour long. Uh, it'll be a lot longer than most of my videos, but uh, it'll be nice to see the full recap of the. Of the tournaments on my side so yeah that's pretty much it guys if you didn't enjoy if you uh if you're hyped to see what our draft can do in this tournament make sure to leave a like for me down below don't forget to check out all those links i told you about in the description down below as well being ttm jar togue and danza's twitch and uh yeah subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys later ciao